how the dollar stays in certain communities and how long it stays in communities. Mm -hmm. And I thought that Justin in teaching us about how money works would be an excellent transition into the discussion about and educating us about how money works. All right, Justin, take us, take us there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I Hola, como esta? <laughs> but, okay, here. Here's the question. I'm going to call you out. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, poquito. Okay. Poquito. Poquito. Yeah. Very little. Very little. Poquito. <laughs> poquito. Uh, poquito. Uh, uh, poquito. After uno, dos. You're done. <laughs> You're not done. It's trash. Huh? That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. We cut up just today. Hey, this is not your first time. First time is not your last time. Trust me. <laughs> and then we have some other things other podcasts that you will bring you have more time to share take us away tell, yes. tell us so what's going on so tell us about a wealth wave and how money works excuse me slow down because they're listening wealth wealth wave what is a wealth wave i think it's just a good slogan right okay if you're talking about a tidal wave how it uh -huh. comes up uh -huh. right um, you're looking at how massive something can be you're looking at that wealth wanting to stay at the top not so much crash down right? uh, so that was Wealthway's biggest point was if we can teach people how to understand how money worked, you know, then there would be less individuals out there that were suffering from financial dilemmas. Okay. Um, you know, what we found out was that majority of people will take advice from someone, whether it's a friend, family, or a financial advisor, thinking that they are the subdramatic expert, and then they would just pretty much copy what they were doing. Right. Mm -hmm. And then necessarily have to be successful. It was just advice that they were receiving, and then they would just do it themselves because that's what was told to them to do. Um, but there's just there's this alarming statistic that says that over 90% of Americans retire with less than a million dollars in their retirement account. I believe that. Yeah. So that's a staggering, you know, statistic. Whenever you're thinking of people that are saving for 25, 30 plus years. To be able to come, be be able to retire comfortably at that retirement age, and find out that they really can't in certain areas, right? If you're back in Paducah, some of the outer cities, maybe you can get by with that, um, but it all depends on how the money's going to be taxed, how you receive it, things like that. So, we like to focus on education first, which is our number one money milestone. If we can teach you all the internal things that are going on with your money, how we position it, where it's going, how it's growing. I think that there's a better relationship between me and you as me being the Southern Matter expert and you being the potential client. That trust is being built because I'm showing you what I'm doing with the money right? instead of telling you what I'm going to do with the money. Uh, so we, we are an open book company. We will show you everything step by step. Financial education is key for everything and is one of the least things that is taught in our school systems, college, Right? It's just, it's just not, it's not taught. No. So, <laughs> we can't teach people the tricks. Right, 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 right. And you know, and I get that. I, I right, think there right. is a, uh, a devil's advocate to it, right? You know, 